Welcome again to Dr. Bernstein's Diabetes University. Uh, today we're going to talk about another very common myth that has permeated the diabetes uh, field. Uh, the myth that children do not develop the long-term complications of diabetes prior to the age of puberty. Somehow they're magically protected from these complications. Uh, this myth was perpetuated many, many years ago before we had uh, blood sugar meters so that it was impossible to normalize blood sugars with, uh, in children and thereby prevent the long-term complications. Uh, in desperation, uh, endocrinologists pretended that the uh, complications would not occur until after puberty and told this to the parents to make them feel better. But it wasn't so. Now, I, I examined a five-year-old diabetic uh, last week who was diagnosed two years ago. So maybe he had unknown diabetes for two and a quarter years. Um, and what did I find? I found a lot of complications. And I did not do all of the, I didn't do my full examination because it was a little hard to do everything in a small child. But uh, I'll recite what I can remember and I'll look up what I, what I uh, wrote down if I have to. He had uh, a frozen dominant shoulder. Now, it wasn't frozen tight. It, he just had limited range of motion. I should change the term. He had LROM, limited range of motion of his dominant shoulder. Uh, it would go up in his back uh, two inches less than the non-dominant side. Very common complication uh, of diabetes. Um, he had diplopia in... Uh, five directions of gaze. Diplopia is double vision. And we have a way of measuring double vision which uh, most endocrinologists do not bother to measure. You have to put a red filter over one eye and just shine a light from different directions. And this little kid had double vision in seven out of nine direct directions of gaze. Um, what else did he have? Ah, he had uh, cardiac autonomic neuropathy. His heart rate did not adequately vary on deep breathing. It's supposed to speed up when you inhale and slow down when you exhale. It did that, but not, not a quarter as much as it should. So he had cardiac autonomic neuropathy. Um, this kind of autonomic neuropathy uh, can eventually, uh, if, if not uh, stopped and reversed, can eventually lead to uh, gastroparesis, paralyzed stomach, and to erectile dysfunction and to other problems. Um, let's see what else. Ah, yes. He had intrinsic minus feet. He had a deformity of the foot that was beginning to give him claw toes like this. Um, he had what's called drop foot, where the foot dropped, uh, and we would get a goniometer and measure the angle of drop of his feet. These are things that endocrinologists should be doing and are not doing. Ah, he had no hippus reflex. Uh, hippus reflex is a universal reflex of the eyes where if you shine a bright light in the eye, it doesn't uh, just close down, as they teach in medical school, but it oscillates like this. And his eyes were absolutely steady. His pupils did not uh, change shape at all when you shined a light at them, when you looked through a slit lamp. So, uh, Doctors should be examining the eyes of their patients. I look through a slit lamp, but you could just uh, get up close and look with a flashlight or an ophthalmoscope. 
and these are not being done. So this little kid who was diabetic only two years had a nice handful of complications and uh, if I had tested more I probably uh, would have found more. I did test for a few things that, uh, that were normal. For example, his oscillometric measurements were normal. He did not have a condition called Munkeberg's ath atherosclerosis, which most kids do get after a few years. Uh, but the point is that as soon as your blood sugars start going up, you start developing the complications. What they're telling you about it's a matter of chance, and if you're lucky, you won't develop complications is utter nonsense. I've never found a uh, diabetic without complications, and usually you can find them within a few years of onset of the disease. Uh, on the one hand, we have this bad news, but on the other hand, uh, many of the complications are reversible with normal blood sugars. Uh, for example, the hippus reflex and the double vision. Uh, I've seen them return in people who have had normal blood sugars for many years. And I've even seen reversal of Munkeberg's atherosclerosis, which is a totally another story which we'll talk about at another time. So thanks for listening. Look at the text below if you want to listen in on my next uh, monthly free teleconference. Uh, thanks for watching and uh, good luck. The bulk of what you've heard on this video uh, appears in my book, Dr. Bernstein's Diabetes Solution, which is available at uh, most internet and local bookstores. It is published by the Hachette Book Group. I'd like to remind you that we have monthly free teleseminars every month at the site AskDrBernstein.net. Doctor is spelt D-R, so AskDrBernstein.net for a free monthly teleseminar. Uh, sign up a day or two in advance so that you get a reserved seat. Good luck and thanks for listening.